Hey guys, um, in this video I'm going to be showing you how you can dump a game demo, a game demo, or an app from like PSN, and can then, and I'm also going to show you how you can then install that game or demo on a different account. This will allow you to get content that is only available in one country and not have to switch accounts just to be able to use it. This is absolutely great because it allows you to have game con content from multiple regions installed on installed all in one memory card and it's just amazing so i'm just going to show you guys how to do it okay but the first thing you need to know is you have to be running firmware 3.60 anything above firmware 3.60 will not work anything below firmware 3.60 will not work you have to be on exactly 3.3.60 okay so if i go here system x system information as you can see it's says 3.60 okay now, the next thing you'll need is, is Hen Kaku, okay? And when you run Hen Kaku, it will give you this. The site to get Hen Kaku is very easy to use. You just go to your web browser, okay? And you close this, okay? And then you just go, and you just go to, um, Hen Hen Kaku dot dot x y z okay. Just go there and you click enter. All right, and then you click install, and then you click install again, and it would install it. However, if it doesn't work, um, just close your browser app, turn off your PS Vito, turn it back on, and do it again, over and over again, until it does install, because it is very buggy and doesn't often install the first try, it took me like 50 tries when I first did it. Now it does it every single time for some reason, but um, yeah, so you need that, okay, and there's better tutorials on how to get that already out there, I'm not gonna make one, at least not in this video, I might make one eventually, um, but yeah, so then, after you do that, you just need to open, you want to, um, Kills, well, kills this, and then you just want to head over to the PS Store. All right. And then you want to click on something that's not that you want to dump. Okay, and so hit download. All right. Purchase is complete. Nope. Going to download. Alright. Now that's gone. We now want to head over to here. Okay. Then cancel the update. The update download. You just want the app. Okay. You just want it with nothing else in your thing, okay? Now, okay, you want to just get download, okay? But the important thing, okay, is that when it finishes downloading, you need to be in this app, okay? So you get download to like all the way up there and then open this app and then wait for it to say download completed, okay? So I will just show this on camera. I'll speed it up maybe, depending on how long it takes. Quick, 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 quick. Okay, open the app. You should see up at the top soon. Downloading completed, okay? So now you want to navigate to UX0, okay? Now go to BGDL and click X. Then in T. X. Alright, and then you'll see a folder name like this. 0000, zero, 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 zero and then a number. 
Okay, now let's hit triangle. All right. And go. Copy. Okay. Now, you want to FTP to your computer. You want to start the FTP server, okay. And then connect to it on your computer with a FTP client like FileZilla, which is free, and you can download it on your computer, okay. You want to type in and uh, into the host. You want to type in the host, um, the IP address it shows on your PS Vita, and then for port, you want to type one three three seven, and then click con and then click connect. Okay, now that you're on here, you then want to go into UX zero, and then right click, go create directory. Okay. You want to call directory anything you want, but make sure it's something that like is obvious, right? So I'm gonna call mine game dumps. Okay. Now you've created that directory game dumps. You then want to go back to your PS Vita and click circle. Now you could have created that from within this app if the um when the new folder button actually works but at the moment it doesn't so yeah just make it from the FTP okay and I'll go P then you wanna go B G D O V okay and you wanna go here and you wanna copy it okay copy alright and now you wanna go out of that and go into that game dumps folder and then go paste okay and now I just wanna wait for it to finish copying It'll take a while, but we'll copy the entire application to this game dumps folder. Because for some reason, I can't FTP into BGDL and copy files out of it. I have to go on here, copy it out of BGDL, because for some reason it doesn't work. I don't know why, I can't copy into it either, so i just do this. Okay, just want to wait for that. Alright, almost finished, okay, so now that's been installed into game dumps, back here on your thing, actually wait first, start the FTP server by pressing select, okay, now on your computer, okay, open up the game dumps folder, okay, open up game dumps, and then in there, you'll see this file here. I'm going to click right click and download. Now it will start downloading the application. Now it will start downloading that folder and all of the stuff to do with it. And basically downloading the entire application onto your computer. This is dumping the game, okay? And keep in mind, you will not be able to view the dump files because they're all encrypted unfortunately but you can install them on you can install the dumps on a new on a different PSN account and it will work I'll show you how to do that Okay, now that's done, you want to hit the start button, because this is where it downloads, okay, you want to hit the start button, and then click on your, and then click on your user, alright, and it'll open the folder, and in that folder will be that folder you just got. Now, I recommend renaming this to 0001, that's just my recommendation.
Alright. Now you can go put this wherever you want. I'm just gonna move mine to the desktop. Okay, I'm just gonna put mine on the desktop right about here. Alright. Paste. And there we go. Now you have that folder. So now, on your PS Vita, you have just successfully dumped the game, by the way. In PS Vita, you want to then switch to an account that can't have this game, right? So it's an account that doesn't have this game in its region. Okay, so to do that, I'm sure you all already know how to switch accounts, but for those of you who don't, this is how you do it. Okay, you turn off your PS Vita, you take out your memory card, Okay. Then get your other memory card. Has your main account on it. I can find it anywhere. Hang on. It's up here somewhere. I know it. It's, it's, I have it around here somewhere. Gosh, these things get lost very easily. Okay, I'm gonna cut the video and be back once I find it. Voila, I found the PS Vito memory card. Awesome. So, now on your PS Vito, you want to insert that memory card for your main account back in. So, a lot of you guys already know this, but whatever. I suck at putting memory cards into my PS Vito. I really do, and recording it at the same time, it's just like, you can't even see a thing, I bet it. I bet you guys can't even see a freaking thing I'm doing. Okay. I put the freaking memory card into the PS Vito. It doesn't really look like I did, but whatever. Okay, I've done it. So now, you want to hold down this button this button and then hold power okay hold down all three of those buttons and pull the PS Yogo this is probably how to do it until PS Yogo comes up then you go down to restore this system and you go down to yes restore and then you wait and then it turns off and then you turn it back on Alright, and then, this is just switching accounts stuff. So, everyone already knows how to do this, or at least everyone should already know how to do this. Alright, and you go in here. English, United Kingdom. You choose your time zone. You do next. So, yeah, I have a Sony Network account. You use. And then you go type it in, in my details. And hit OK and so for this annoying animation again. Can someone like release a home rule, like a VPK file that like just lets you switch accounts without having to like do this whole process? That would be amazing if someone did that. I don't know how I code VPK files. <laughs> Otherwise, I'd do it. Alright. my hints, whatever. Okay, now 
you want to head down to molecule shell and you want to install it to enable it you want to enable um hen hen kaku you want to enable it you can do so just by clicking the install button on the app all right and you also hit okay and then i can go through here and enable it okay now that it's been enabled, I can start this and go start FTP server on my PC. I then open up my FTP client and I reconnect to the thing. All right, so I just connected to it again. Now you open UX zero. BGDL T. Wait, no. No, that's wrong. You go in here, right? In your main memory tab. And you open your game dumps folder. What the heck? Everything's up. I think this is... Hang on, something... I'm confused. Hang on, I'm just gonna restart my um, file drawer. It's being a bit weird. Okay, so I wanna go down to the start menu and you wanna open file drawer. Okay, and then you wanna connect to your PS Vita, so... One... Nine, two... Dot one six eight dot one dot eight colon one three three seven password get thing blank then it's in UX zero Like it on UL zero, yeah, UX zero. All right, now I already have a full here called Game Dump, so you want to create one of those. Okay, and I've got my. I've already got something in here. I just want to delete that. Now, in that folder, which will be empty for you, I'm just deleting the stuff in there because I don't actually want that in there at the moment. You then want to take that dump you just made and then put it in there. Alright. And it will start transferring in. And once it's all done transferring in there... Wait for it all copy in. Taking a while, but whatever. Alright, just transfer to on your PS Vita now. 
your Sakyo CFTP connections and then browse to UX0 hit OK then you just want to browse to game dumps alright now we'll go down we'll co you want to triangle copy it you can shuffle go to bgvl go x go to t x press triangle kick paste and now we wait for the copy that photo into here now we'll copy it into bgdl t and ux0 you may see a BGDL in UL0, do not put it in there, put it in UX0. Okay. Now you want to hit circle, circle, go back to your game dumps. Okay, and unless you just want to take up space in your memory card, just go and delete this one from game dumps. Okay, now that's done. Just want to turn off your Vita. And then turn it back on. <laughs> when you turn it back on, and then swipe this out, you'll notice it's out installing that game. Or that, that game demo or that app or whatever. And it will install and you can click on it. You can even download updates for it. As you can see. You can start it. And it will work. Game works. Everything works. And I believe this is actually very hard for Sony to patch. I mean, they can patch the way you do it, obviously. They can patch shipping. They can patch the molecular shell. But they actually have installed. I don't think they can really do much about them. I don't know. They could. They might be able to. I don't know. So.